Yo, what's good, YouTube? Super Thirty One, and we are back in the building with another episode of SLBC. Yes, this is SLBC, and we have some ideas of what I want to do. Um, I seen it here. Oh, there we go. Put clothes in the dressing room downstairs. But what I want to do with the clothes. Is I need some cotton. These are cotton seeds. That's perfect. What is this? Pumpkin seeds. That'll work too. Um, we could take... I don't know why I got that whistle. I'm not going to use that at all. Not at all. Not at all. We could take these clothes. Right? And place them downstairs. I want to get some cotton because I want to make some t-shirts. But for now, do we have iron in on us? That's an iron chest plate. We can leave that in there. We ain't got no dirt on us. We got diamonds. Place that in there. We got no sand. Leather. Nope, no leather. Um... No fur, no marble, and no... Oh, there's cotton in there? No, there's no cotton. Okay, so these are the clothes. Um, this is all just equipment. All right, so it's been a minute, y'all. I'm trying to make sure I got all this correctly. So let's put the clothes away. See, this is what I want to do. I want to dye some cotton clothing. I did not know you could do that. So I found out, and now I definitely want to do it. That's my goal. If we could get it done today, that'd be perfect. But it's gonna be a little hard because we're gonna need a lot of cotton. Which we do not have. I ain't boats. We can put all that in there. Okay. TV still on? Is this trap set? Yeah, it's set. What is that? Why is that open back there? fact I'm not even going to stress that right now so today is kind of different because the wife who's usually home is gone for the day she went out to go play with her mommy and her auntie they went to go do some gambling at the casino you know I love that that my wife go out and go gambling it's a good thing you know, for her to get out the house and get away from get away from me mostly. <laughs> Cause I'm more of a pain than anybody. Okay, I did remove all the stuff. I guess I did. Um we have enough iron swords on us. Which we're not taking all these. Yeah, I could be a pain, so I could I know what she go through when she's dealing with me. I try not to be a pain, but it's just in my nature. What do you want? What do you want me to do? I can't change that. Um, it is nighttime. Yes, it is. So what we're gonna do, since it's nighttime and talking would be a waste, it's a house right there. I don't remember seeing that. Or oh, did we see that last time? I don't remember. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something I do at home sometime and sleep on the couch. So I will be right back. And we can finish with our conversation. Okay, we're back. So, the topic at hand, well, it's not actually a topic. It is something I just want to talk to y'all about while we go through the motions of survival craft. Do I got, um, I need some tools. Where's all my tools at? I know he left some of my stuff upstairs. Was it? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Ah, there we go. We got a lot of tools here. Um, The discussion, let's put it like that. The discussion that we're having is based on me being a pain and my wife having fun. Now, see, a lot of guys, right now it's like, let me see, 420 in the morning. Now, see, I'm serious. It's 420 in the morning, too, just in case you don't believe me. Now, a lot of guys will get mad, like, okay, why is my wife hanging out at 4 in the morning? She has a man at home. I don't feel that way. Like, if she want to hang out, she can hang out. That's a good thing. I like that. 
Now, I wish sometimes she gives me the same treatment because it's a different thing with a guy hanging out and leave his wife at home than when a, a, your wife hang out and leave you at home. Now, let me explain that to y'all who don't know. Now, women, not all, but some women are very, very insecure when it comes to the hubby hanging out with his friends and, you know, his boys. Because some women just swear up and down that, okay, if you're with this dude, you're doing the things he do. Now, you could be with a guy that's single. Not with a guy like that, but, you know, you could, you have a friend that's single and dates a lot of women. And if you hanging with that dude and your wife finds out about it, she's ready to flip. Oh, why you with him? You, you want to be like him? You're going to end up... Um, cheating on me because that's what he do. He be around a lot of women and it's going to intimidate you. You know, little stupid things that women do. Not all women. So if you're a female watching this, please don't get offended. I'm just talking about what i seen in my lifetime. Now, I feel like this. Like I always tell, oh, I always tell mine, any, any female I've ever been with in the past to now, I would tell them the same thing. I'm a grown man. Even if I'm not a grown man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hyena chasing the giraffe. We're going to. Oh, I was going to follow that. But I'm not one of those dudes that just do things because their friend do it. Like, I don't smoke any marijuana. I don't smoke any cigarettes. But everyone, basically everybody that I know does it. And like I be telling people, like, you know, just because they do it don't mean I'm going to do it. We're taking these down. I don't like these up here. And it's it's some people that I know that's so weak. Like, I'm going to tell you all the truth. Her father, my wife's father, my so-called father-in-law, me and him, we, I thought he was being chased. Now, why would you get out of here? Oh, I offended you? I did not know giraffes attack. <laughs> oh wow, animals really attack, huh? Now see, I killed you. I, I was, I was gonna leave you alone. I seen you getting chased by a hyena. No, I thought you was one of the good guys, but you ran by me. I hit you in the butt. <laughs> Dude just got offended. But anyway, what was we talking? Okay, that was crazy when animals attack. But anyway. So, her father is an old man. He's like 60-something, I think, or 60 even. I don't know. He's around there somewhere. But that's a trap. Who would put that there? I heard you. Where you at? There you go. Can't tell me my hearing ain't good. Okay, anyway. So, he's one of those guys that he hang out with some dudes in their 20s and some teenagers. Because he feels like he wants to, he still wants to be a young, young man. So he told me one day that it, it really blew minds when he said this. He told me straight up. And I'm going to tell y'all because y'all my friends. I don't know if she's going to see this video and feel a certain way, but I really don't care. He told me that the reason why he drinks is because his friends drink and he don't want to feel left out. So for me to hear that as a man, it, I look at him like, what are you? Are you that weak? Because only a weak person would say and feel that way. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all why. And it's the truth. If you were somebody and that person is doing a type of drug, would you just feel obligated to do the same drug? Because him and or her, what, the per the people you're with is doing it and you want to feel left out. So they call it, calling you names, you know, oh, you soft or you, you whack, you're not cool, you don't want to do this with us. You know, Tommy doing it while you can't do it. 
But you feel obligated to do it just because of that. If you do, then we have a problem. <laughs> I'm serious. No joke. We will have a serious problem. There's no way in the world I'm going to raise anybody, kids, anybody, to feel that way. My clothes are worn now. Oh, it is worn now. Okay, we got to get back home now. But there's no way I'm going to raise my children to feel like, okay, well, if they doing it, I got to do it too. No, don't ever feel that, you know, don't ever feel that. that that's just the crazy, I, I have no other way to explain it, but it's just the dumbest thing ever for a person to say something like that. Especially for a grown man. A man, I don't care if a female say it, you know, they shouldn't. But a man should never force his lips to say he only doing it because his friends are doing it. Never. My mother raised me as a single parent. Me and my two brothers. A single parent. And she raised us to be men. Not little boys, not you know, um, dozers as we call them in Harlem. Growing up in Harlem, that's what we call them, dozers. You know, dozer is someone that just does it. Or do whatever that someone's trying to do. I'm sorry, yeah, I thought I seen something. And right now we're looking for cotton. If y'all wonder why we just walking around, I'm trying to find some cotton plants. And I, actually, I could be planting some while we talking. Where's the opening? Did he give me an opening? Yes, he did. Just remind me what he planted at. Um. Yeah, but my, basically, my mother raised us to be men. And if, if she ever hears say something like that, my mother will beat. I can't curse you. I already know that. But she would give us the a, a very good thrashing. That's better. She would give us one that we'll never forget. I could tell you that much. I would have to talk about it on YouTube. That's how bad it would be. But, um. So, I want y'all all to remember that. That's a giraffe right there. I thought I'd see another giraffe. I can't believe that giraffe attacked us like that. But yeah, I want y'all to remember that and never ever feel that you got to do something because someone else is doing it. Especially if it's the person you with. If that person you with is doing something and you don't want to do it and they start calling you names, then you don't need to be that person no more. And I'm telling y'all the truth. You know, I have a lot of experience. I, I was basically raised in the streets. I mean, like I said, my mother did the best she could, but I was always a hard-headed kid always man and i still am to this day and we got some wolves we gonna play with but to this day i'm still a hard-headed kid where am i going oh yes right spot so i just want y'all to remember that man i heard him say that it, it shook me it really did shake me to the point where now I just don't respect them. Like, it, it came to a point one day I actually put hands on them. I didn't mean to. You know, I just threw them to the wall. Um, I'm not bragging about it. It is, I can't respect a, a person. I'm not even going to say man, but I can't respect a person that's so, that belittle themselves so much that you would just fall to that category. They go to cotton growing. I love the way cotton grow in this game. Um, we need a lot of that because we need like nine pieces. Just to get, I think, one carvers, is that's what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Um, we got to eat. Yeah, we haven't ate since the beginning of this video. But this is SLBC. Let's get off that topic. Because we was talking about my wife hanging out. <laughs> but this is SLBC. It does feel good to be back here. I got to get the link out. Who's next to get the link? Let me know in the comment section you next to get the link. And I, I want to do some more of these because it's like we got to episode 70. I think this is episode 70. And we just stopped. I want to get to 100. I want to get actual 100. We got over 100 Survival Craft videos all together on YouTube. You know, different types of adventures and gameplays. But I want just SLBC to get 100 and better. Once I hit the 100th video, it's going to mark it. We got to mark that down in history. Now, is my horse still alive? Because I know they said, oh, I hear them. Yes, they still alive. I remember that it was a time when if you don't 
be around the environment with the animal for a minute they like die or despawn or something like that. I don't know. Now, something else I just remember. So I had to pick, but not pick my nose. I was scratching my nose. I'm not picking, I'm scratching. But there's something else I do remember. I read on Twitter that Callis has um started something new. How am I getting cold? I don't know. But Callis has started something new. Um, a new brand, a new company or something for Survival Craft. I know it's still Candy Rufus Games, but it was some other you know how companies is is like joint companies or so many different publishings or whatever you wanna call it, all mixed in in one to work together to make something or create something or own something. Well, something went wrong was a part of the company they had, so I think I think I got the story right. Something went wrong with a part of the company he had, so he left them or got rid of them, and now he did everything from scratch with Survival Craft, and it's going to be under new ownership or something like that. I don't know. So that's why he haven't been giving us any videos lately. So Because, you know, if he give you a video, I'm going to give you a video. And where's the wolves at? I know it's a full moon. It better be full moon. I'm saying here all this time. Okay, now I hit him, and I just closed the gate. Oops. Yeah, but there, um, so that's the reason why he haven't been giving us anything new. If you want to know, that's the reason why. And now I think he said that he's finished or he's finishing up. So we should be receiving some new stuff. It's not no full moon. I just seen a wolf right there. Swimming in the water in regular shape. Let me go see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get off the ladder. Get up the ladder. Get up the ladder. There we go. I never noticed this. <laughs> I just now walked over here and noticed this. But look. See? It's a regular wolf. Where's the moon there? Oh, yeah, it's not full. It looked full when it was coming up, but it's not. But this is nice. This is a nice little chill area right here. I don't know what you want to look at, but it's fun to be out here because this is the outdoors and, there's, you know, wolves and stuff. Can we get to you? I want to know what that's all about right there. But anyway, um, so we will be, sh we should be expecting something new from Callis sooner or later, hopefully. You know, I'm not rushing him. I love the fact that how he does his thing. You know, he's taking his time, make sure everything's perfect. This is our piano, right? Yes, it is. Oh, he got it in different notes, right? Yep, he do. I don't know how he did that. I remember I said I was going to do some electronics. I still didn't get y'all nothing yet, right? Now, what was up here? Okay, this is supposed to be like the little office area. One day we're going to work on that. It's a lot of stuff we got to work on for, oops, for Survival Craft, well, for SLBC, a lot of stuff. We're going to get to it soon, but right now we're going to go to bed because we waste time thinking that there was some wolves. Where it was to play with, but it's not even a full moon. So, I will be right back with you in a minute. Welcome back, welcome back. What is this? Why don't I keep finding all these new things today? Did I see this before? Secret tunnel. No, I did not see this because it's a secret tunnel. Let me get my blade out. In this case is not just a secret to me. What does this lead to? Oh, my clothes wore out. Okay, that's not good. And it's raining, so we're going to freeze. What is this going to? It's a huge tunnel. Not big enough for a horse to go through, but... 